What is going on my stock market bulls and bears? I'm your host Terry and welcome to the channel Buy the Dip. All right guys, back talking about Meta, ticker symbol MMAT. We got some fantastic news and information in today's video, so give it a thumbs up before we even get started. Guys, we got to talk about the short interest. Our man Ehor is back giving us updated numbers that are from S3 Partners. Now this guy is phenomenal. He has a list of all the stocks, but we're going to cover Meta. We're also going to go into talking about the Fintel short interest for the daily as well. And we got more rumors that was put on here and people doing little PI private investigation on the Elon Musk and possibly Meta kind of working together. So we're going to cover all that in today's video. So guys, let's get to the video. All right, guys, I'm going to start here on the Fintel website. Now, this is just for today's short interest. Latest market update was today, July the 1st. The short volume was 2.783 million shares with a market volume of 10.46 million shares, a short volume ratio of 27%. Now, if we scroll down here and look at it from the last four days that ticker symbol MMAT has been on the market, you can see here it's hanging around. It says here that 10 million or so shares was the volume here today and the short volume ratio was 26 and a half. So, but the short volume of shares was actually down. There's not many people in a sense adding to their short positions is what I want to say here. Cause as you can see, just yesterday it was over 9 million and today is a little less than 3 million at 2.7. But here is where we want to go and dig into the real information here. We are back here on eHors. Twitter page. And if you don't know who Ehor is, he is the managing director of predictive analytics. He's S3 Partners LLC financial analytics firm. He has 75,000 followers and he is your short interest guru if you want to know about a company. And here it is, ticker symbol MMAT. The short, the, this is total guys. The Fintel uh, I give you daily is for the daily short interest. This here is the overall short interest that Ehor is giving us. So here it says short interest is 87 million shares. 87 million is the short interest. 11.59 million are the shares shorted. 17.58% of the short interest to float. And 14.95 of the S3 short interest to float. 41.58%. Uh, 41.58% fee. Shares shorted are up 308,000 worth 2 million. 2.73 over the last week. Shorts are down 7 million in 2021 mark to market losses. So basically what Ehor is saying here is that the shorts are down. Uh, he says right here, shorts are down 7 million in 2021 mark to market losses. Here he has a chart. Whereas you see this bottom line here, let me adjust this here. There we go. So as you can see, this bottom line here is the price. And as you can see, this is when we had that spike. And then after the merger, it kind of came back down. Well, here you can see the other line here, the short, the top line, the short interest of shares where they were shorting it, shorting it, shorting it. And here in a sense, they have in a sense increased their short. So there it is very interesting here that the short interest is at 17%, guys. So that is kind of crazy to sit there and think about it, that they're not really believing that we're gonna come in here and hold these shares. Now, and I wanted to go back here, guys, and highlight on my man's Twitter page, Mr. Barry, where he commented and he got George to tweet back in a reply. And I think here that where he says, this is George, the CEO of Meta. Management will hold a live webcast presentation on Tuesday, July the 6th, at 1 p.m. to discuss the recent events and Meta's future growth initiatives. MMAT to join us. Please register here. You click the link. So what are we getting at here, guys? Now, July 6 is being rumored on stock twits and Reddit, and July 6 is kind of being this rumor. Are they going to announce anything with Tesla? If you didn't see yesterday's video, go check it out. I'll put it down in the pinned comments. We went over some details about the rumors of Meta and Tesla possibly doing some kind of deal. And here is some due diligence on the actual Meta materials 
uh, and Torch Twitter page. It's Torch X Meta on Twitter. Now, here we got someone doing some due diligence, and you gotta love it. Elon Musk tweets a quote from Arthur C. Clarke that's in an article also posted the same day by MMAT CEO George about Meta Materials contributor to the article is Yarslav. I'm not gonna pronounce it and butcher it, but who was just hired at Meta Materials? I'm in and hard on the watch for Tesla's action here. So here is a couple of the screenshots. Here's what we need to cover, guys. So here was the tweet from Elon Musk. This was, here's his quote. Any significantly ad advanced magic is indistinguishable from technology. He posted that on May 21st. And if we go here to the next slide, I'm sorry, he posted that on May 22nd, 2021. And if we go here to the next one, here is the post from George where you can kind of see there's an article here. George is talking about it. But if we go here to the next slide, guys, here is where he has it highlighted down here. It's going to be a little hard to see, but it says the famed science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke once remarked any significantly advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. So there it is. What is the odds that George himself puts out this tweet and in the article, it has a quote that Elon Musk did a while back. Now, that is kind of quinky dink in a sense. And as you can see right here, here's where George did this tweet. He just posted this uh, yesterday, June 30th. He posted it last night, June 30th, 2021. And this is where the rumors are coming in that you know how we did the CCIV on this channel, guys? We had a lot of stuff leading CCIV to Lucid. We had, you know, people that worked for Lucid that are in Churchill Capital on the SPAC. And we kind of got the same stuff now here going on with Meta. So this is very, very interesting stuff. Uh, comment below if you think this has, you know, any merit. Uh, I, I think this is some great due diligence. And I believe this is to be real. Now, I did want to end this on a little positive note. Uh, this was an article back just two days ago. We did cover it, but I do want to just say, I know the stock's been getting beat up a little bit. It is down about 4% today. But just keep in mind, guys, most of these mergers always have a crash, man. It's kind of like it always does it. Whether it's a regular merger with a SPAC or it's a reverse merger, any kind of merger, the stock hypes up to the merger and it crashes. I don't almost know of any stock in a sense or a SPAC that has stayed up after the merger, man. It always seems to crash and then it can run up. So I think that's what's going to happen here with Meta. And here it says, the quote from this article is that as a result of the transaction and our recent ATM offerings, Meta is now over $160 million in cash and virtually debt-free balance sheet with approximately 285 million shares issued and outstanding after the two to one reverse split. From here, we can believe now comfortably support our near and long-term growth initiative, said Ken Rice, the CE, CFO and EVP of Meta. So right there, I think that says a lot. 160 million in cash, they're virtually debt-free. They got 285 million shares issued and outstanding on the two to one reverse split. So. That gives me a lot of positive news. Now, we still don't know anything about the dividend. Uh, I think they did a poll back there on that Twitter page, and like 95% of people says they have not got any uh, dividend. 5% people said they do have the, uh, the preferred share showing on their uh, brokerage. None of us have seen it yet, so we'll wait and see what happens. So guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And check out the links down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>